Um, so everyone else is just not So this is art was created in 1951 by a young woman named Ella Brennan. She was our first general manager and the younger sister to our original owner, Owen Brennan. And they were hosting a celebratory dinner for a man named Richard Foster. Now, he had just been promoted to the chairman of the Boo Parade Crime Commission, which was essentially a neighborhood watch for French Quarter businessmen. Um, and him and the Brennans were very close friends. So Owen wanted to do something special to honor Richard that night. So he goes to his younger sister, Ella, um, and tasks her with coming up with a dessert, something special and exclusive off the menu um, to serve after dinner. Now, mind you, this is a mere few hours before the event takes place, and Owen is tasking Ella with impressing 150 people with something that she just pulls out of thin air, right? So, um, if I was Ella, I would probably be a little nervous, um, but she was amazing. So she looks around the restaurant to see what they have in the house, which she could possibly throw together on such short notice. Um, and bananas were highly being imported into New Orleans in the 50s. So there were tons and tons of those available. She pulls inspiration from a breakfast, actually, that my mother used to make her, which was caramelized bananas, fresh fruit, and scrambled eggs. Figured she could probably flambe them table side for a little added flair, and then put it on top of some ice cream and call it dessert. Now, that sounds lovely, right? Um, the only problem with Ella's plan is that Owen, her big brother, despised ice cream. He had it banned from the restaurants. He did not want it in his dining room. Um, and the reason for this was Owen felt like ice cream was childish and did not belong in fine dining. So we can agree to disagree now. However, Owen was the man in charge, so his work went right. Well, not as far as Ella was concerned. She decided that she was going to make the dessert that she wanted. Um, and she just wasn't going to tell her big brother about it until the dinner took place and he couldn't stop her. So it's exactly what she did. The dinner went off without a hitch. Everyone was having a wonderful time loving the bananas foster. Everyone except for Owen Brennan. He was furious. When <laughs> his younger sister and demanded to know why she would dare to bring ice cream to his dining room, I mean, my God. And Ella pointed out that he was the only person in the restaurant who was not enjoying themselves. So Owen, you know, let it slide for the night, figured it was going to be a one-time thing. The very next day, this dessert exploded. It was in the newspaper and on television. People were lining up down the street just to try it. Now, like I said, bananas were very popular in the 50s, but this was new and exciting. Everyone had to have it. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ross, your face is mighty close to that. <laughs> Do you feel the heat? It's why she has short hair. Don't worry, I haven't burned anyone else. I, I have burned my You can burn hair, him and it's but... okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, Owen, despite his, you know, original bias against ice cream, realized there might be something to this really in a sponsor thing. Um, named it after Richard Foster in his honor, and decided to adopt it to the menu. Um, it has been on our menu ever since. Um, we now flambe over 45,000 pounds of bananas every single year. We're one of the largest imports of bananas in the entire world. Just this restaurant, just bananas. Now, did y'all remember all that? I do. I remember every, every bit of it. Thank you. Banana 